are back now to introduce you to Andrea Meza. Well, she was called Miss Mexico, but that was before last night where she got a new title. Miss Universe is what you call her now. She beat out women from 73 other countries and territories and claimed the crowd. And here she is to talk to us this morning. First of all, congratulations, Miss Universe. And what, what's that first night of sleep like after winning the Miss Universe pageant? Uh, thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here with you. And I didn't actually have <laughs> any sleep at all. <laughs> I, w I went straight to the activities, but I am enjoying this so much. I'm so grateful for having this opportunity. And I, I still cannot believe it 100%. Now, what, what is this a dream of yours, I'm told, to be Miss Universe? Now, I don't know if that started when you were a, a kid or maybe when you got into the pageants, but when did a dream of becoming Miss Universe come into play? Well, it started when I was around 15 years old, when Jimena Navarrete won Miss Universe. I used to think that Mexican people were not able to get to these places and to be in these high positions. And after she won, she changed the mindset that I had. But I didn't feel capable of doing this. I always thought that I was not pretty enough, that I was not smart enough, and I was afraid of being in front of cameras or microphones. So let's just say that I, it was like an impossible dream that I had. But uh, I started growing up and I decided that this was like the, the path that I needed to take in order to get out of my comfort zone and keep growing. And I started in the pageantry world like four years ago. So I have some experience at pageants, <laughs> uh, but this universe has always been for me the, the top, the, the I don't know, the, the most incredible platform. Now, you have been described as a six foot tall vegan who has a degree in software engineering. Now, you don't hear that every day. Now, um, this software <laughs> engineering degree that you have, um, what does that say? I mean, th th it seemed to be something a lot of people want to make sure they got out there and you want to talk about as well, uh, that it's not just a, a pretty face or a crown or walking around on a stage. Exactly. In order to be a uh, representative or an ambassador of your country, you have to be prepared. And it doesn't matter the career that you choose. I mean, I'm an engineer, we have doctors, we have administrators. And the, the amazing thing about Miss Universe is that we have all these well-prepared women that want to talk about what they do in their normal life and to um, inspire other women are out there. One last thing here, you talked about on stage last night a message you want to put out there about beauty standards. Now, you're talking about yes. a change in beauty standards at what is a beauty pageant, but how do you think a Miss Universe, someone who has won what's still referred to as a beauty pageant, can have a role in changing some of the standards, if you will, that are still out there when it comes to beauty? Well, I, I like to think that I am perfect the way I am. I am not the tallest, I am not the skinniest or the perfect body. And I always believe that beauty comes in different packages and we all are different. And when we understand that, we can embrace ourselves and we can feel good about ourselves. And I just w like to picture myself to others like a normal person. If you see my social media, yeah, you can find pictures where I'm looking fabulous, but I also like to show them the real me, the, the real Andrea in the normal activities and having like a normal look and make them understand that it's not everything about glamour and it's not everything about how you look. It's about who you are. It's about what you do and what are you doing to help your society and help yourself. Well, congratulations to you. Uh, again, Andrea uh, Meza, congratulations on winning the pageant. Uh, and I know you're gonna be moving to New York, so we're all gonna be neighbors, George, Robin, yeah, All of us. Yeah. We're, we're going to be neighbors yeah. here soon. <laughs> but congratulations. I'm moving to New York today. Oh. I mean, I, I really started my activities immediately oh, wow. after winning the crown. So I will be there today in the afternoon. Well, we will see you very soon. Congratulations again. All right. Getting to work. Thank you so much. It was nice talking to you. All right.